going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another MLB 23 The Show Diamond Dynasty video. Season 3 is live right now and in today's video we're going to show you all of the free 99 overall cards you can earn and everything you need to do to get free content. Now if you guys enjoy this video, if you like it, if it helps you out, make sure you go ahead and click that thumbs up button. Shows a lot of support on the channel, helps the videos get noticed. Also if you're brand new here, you were searching around YouTube for Diamond Dynasty content, whether it's how to make stubs, how to get free players, how to build your Diamond Dynasty squad. You found the right channel for everything. Stay a while. Click that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell on as well so you guys are alerted. When we drop additional videos, let's get right on into it. So I've been away from this game. Haven't really been playing it. Honestly, haven't been enjoying playing it. But we got a brand new Season 3 that's surrounded by All-Star Game content, which to me, over the last couple years, has usually been the best part about Diamond Dynasty. So we're going to give it one more try. See if we can get back into this game before Madden comes comes out then I mean they gave Nolan Arenado a new card so why not come back season 3 live right now you can see some of the 99 overall cards that you can earn for free now if you completed various programs during season 2 you're gonna get XP jump starts within the season 3 reward so uh, you can see here like I said I didn't really play too much so we didn't get anything from that I believe they said on the special stream if you completed all five of these things you get a free 99 overall like right off the rip so congrats to all of you uh, here are the head start rewards that diamond duos pack is a guaranteed 99 overall player uh, otherwise you get xp jump starts balling as a habit packs and stubs we are now in season three which is going to go from july 7th to august 31st very important to note you can still use core cards you can still use set two cards obviously you can use set three cards which are going to be new set one cards cannot be used for the most part they did say i believe once per month in online events they will give you an event that allows you to use set one cards as well so they're not completely absent but for the most part those cards are very irrelevant now just another look at some of the free season three rewards here including these grind 99 cards there is a wild card that you can use so here are the squad set requirements you can use core set two set three uh there is a wild card player slot which i believe allows you to use a set one card if you have one in your binder in your inventory that you don't want to let go of so that's kind of a cool feature there uh let's go ahead and jump on into the diamond dynasty menus and show you everything including what you need to be doing first so we got the menu Main XP reward path that's what we're gonna focus on first here and if we take a look at the season 3 reward path there's gonna be a bunch of you know various cosmetics and small packs things that you probably don't care about let's talk about the good stuff here so we got to scroll a little bit further down here but the very first NL all-star pack is gonna come at 180,000 XP and it's going to feature a bunch of 97 overall NL all-stars we got Josiah Gray Lemoyne College legend which is a college in Syracuse good to see him doing his thing in the in the uh, majors there we got a 97 overall Nolan Arenado like this is the only card I care about they didn't really make him that great contact power uh, against lefties uh, contact against left power against right under 100 but we're still going to go after this card because at the end of the day it's my favorite player but diamond hitting uh, diamond defense here and I believe they said there's one two three four five six seven I believe they said you're going to earn this pack up to four times so basically you get four out of these seven players and they are sellable it appears so if there's a card that you want you know after the four that you can get for free you can always go out and buy them off of the marketplace and more than likely these cards as time goes on are going to be fairly inexpensive and they're also going to go towards the big set three collection which we'll also show you uh, within this video the AL all-star pack is going to be the same just different players M Mike Trout being in here is, is probably going to be the you know the one that everybody's going to it's going to grab everybody's attention here here is the Mike Trout with any of these cards if you're on Xbox you hit Y if you're on PlayStation hit triangle you can view the attributes yourself i'm not going to break down a bunch of 97 so i know a lot of people i was reading the comments in the chat you know during the live stream here are disappointed with 97 overalls but i think they're pretty solid cards and of course they're going to count towards higher overall cards now if you're looking for 99 overalls the first one is going to be the season 3 xp boss pack here you get it at 250,000 stubs coins not either of those xp we got it right on the third try there uh we got 99 jobs 
Jock Peterson. We got 99 my, my, Mike Cameron. How did I mess up his first name when literally my first name is Mike as well? That was pretty bad. Marcus Simeon, Zach Gallen, and then Buck O'Neill. I'll quickly show you the attributes on these cards just so you guys can take a look at them. I think Marcus Simeon probably looked like the best one in my opinion, but I know a lot of people are going to go after Jock Peterson as well, and the Mike Cameron card isn't terrible either. Uh, so those are the five boss packs, or five five cards within the boss pack and I believe if you scroll through the rewards you can earn that up to three times so you get three out of those five players at 300,000 XP you're going to get this John Donaldson card really really love the card art here he is a pitcher but he also can hit the ball 99 on the four seam fastball velocity at 99 of course like good attributes um, but here are the hitting attributes as well no Shohei Otani over here but uh, contact against right 105 against lefties is 91 and he's a left handed bat so a pretty cool free 99 overall reward if you continue to scroll through the XP path. The rewards at this point are going to kind of recycle, which isn't a bad thing because you're going to get more of these NL and AL All-Stars. You get another boss pack here. Like I said, I believe you earn this pack three different times, so you can get three out of these five players. And then once you're done, you have the, you know, the XP loop, loop the unlimited rewards. There is a chase pack five within this loop rewards and it's going to feature a 99 overall Ellie De La Cruz. We will show you that card. The card art is cracked on that one. And anything that you do within the game, just simply playing the game, is going to earn you XP. So you're earning these rewards while grinding towards other things. And there's a lot more to show you. Of course, with a brand new season, is going to give us a new set of Team Affinity rewards. It's going to work for the most part like all of the other Team Affinities have worked here. So each division is going to get one. I don't know why, but this is kind of bothering me that like the West is on the left now when it's normally on the right am i wrong there did they switch that all up there and if they did uh when did they do that but if you look through these rewards okay we'll just go to nl west for an example um you know like i said it's gonna work the, the same way that most programs work everything you need to do to earn team affinity tokens or team affinity xp is going to be found here down below and if you scroll through the rewards we have a bunch of classic packs that are like throwback cards here 94 overalls not exciting but they are all set three cards which are you know going to play towards a bigger reward we got new captains in the game more set three content there got a tatis card kyle freeland brandon webb just looking at the nl west here uh if you look at the choice packs here for the nl west these are going to be 97 overalls Jake Lamb, David Dahl, we got who, I, oh, I'm going to mess his name up, even though I know him. Back when Nolan played for the Rockies and I, I followed them, he, he used to just pitch well against us all the time, us as if that was still my team. Um, but basically, you got 597 overall, so one from each team, and if you scroll through the rewards, they are going to repeat, so you can get all five of those players, I believe, yeah, that looks like they're all no-sell as well, which isn't surprising, but they're going to go towards that set three set or set three content. And everything you need to do is going to be found down below. So you got PXP missions based off of each team within this division. Uh, you got the captain stat mission. So every time you unlock one of those captains, put in your lineup and, and knock out these objectives. These are all things that are going to give you team affinity XP. You got missions here with the classic players. You got missions with the bosses. So just a bunch of different ways to earn PXP. There's going to be collections that you can go through. There's going to be showdowns and, of course, conquests. So this is all familiar, you know, if you've been playing the game for years or even just this year in general, those are the things you're going to need to knock out to earn the rewards within the team affinity. And it's going to be the same for each division. So if we look at the NL Central, and I'll just scroll over here to the NL, the first NL Central pack uh, that you can unlock here, you can see a bunch of 97 overalls, pretty much the same card art there. And there you have it. So we're pretty far into the video and the content, and we've yet to show you one of, if not the best rewards in its for free that came out today so the june monthly awards program dropped today we have june tops now which is going to feature a free 99 overall card and if you scroll through these tops now cards you know these are old and, and things i probably should have covered in prior videos and maybe i did but these are going to give you a nice little jump start on the june monthly awards and at the very end of it you're going to get a, a domingo herman which apparently a bit a big uh controversial item that they gave him this card i know he had a perfect game recently but you know he's been in the news for other things here so i'm a bit surprised also have to slightly laugh at the fact that he got a card for a perfect game and yet his hits per nine here is not maxed out all the way it is at one at 15 it is at one at one at 115 which isn't terrible but um that 
is going to be one free 99 overall card. And again, you want to play through this to earn these Tops Now cards because these cards are going to help you in the June monthly awards program. And if we take a look at this program, you probably saw it already, probably heard about it, but you get a free 99 overall Shohei Otani. So I don't want to spend too much time breaking down the monthly award program because it's going to work the same way it's worked all year. And hopefully the majority of you are familiar with it. But if you look at the task section, there's missions, there's moments, there's collections that are optional. Um, the, the I would definitely stay away from the exchange. It's it's not worth it at all. The collection isn't bad though. If you've been doing these June month uh, June tops now moments and and whatnot, grinding through that program, you're going to have the majority of these cards, and they can also earn you PXP for other ways to progress through this reward path. But doing this collection, in my opinion, because there are already no sell cards, is definitely worth it. So if you got the 15 or sorry the nine cards uh, to get the 10 program stars, definitely go through it. They did say on stream here, and I'm not going to go through like all of them, but they basically said that they made these a lot less time consuming, which is definitely good here. Uh, there is an event which will show you and that gives you progress towards it every time you win. But they basically said the PXP missions are a lot more watered down here and there's not as many players to like kind of chase through and, and grind PXP for. So that's definitely a W. Just focus on hitters, pitchers, and then the monthly award players. So grinding through this entire program is going to give you a bunch of 95 overall cards. I'll just scroll through them so you guys can see that. And then when we get further down this program uh you're gonna get some 97 so here are the 497 overalls and then finally at the end of it and actually there's other 97s in there dylan cease uh lane thomas mark leader jr we got brandon drury and if you scroll down further there's more 97s and 98s that you can earn for free christian yelich but the main one that everybody's gonna want here is this otani card 99 overall and it's a pitcher card. So here are his pitching attributes, which aren't terrible, uh, but he also has really good hitting attributes. So this is a, I know there's uh, just the DH in the game now, but this is a card that, you know, if you need him to hit, then he's on your bench in whatever form or fashion. You guys can throw him in the game in that situation as well. But very good to see Otani, a 99 overall, with all the complaints about the higher overall cards always being in packs and costing a lot. Uh, good to see a big name like this get a free card that you can all earn and they made it a lot easier to earn it. Just a couple offline things that you can grind that go hand in hand with the stuff we already showed you in the video. Of course, the conquest maps for each team affinity division. So if we go into that server's a bit slow right now, I'm sure a lot of people are on because of the new content here. Um, if we go into this stuff here, we got the West, the Central, and the East. These are gonna feature pack rewards, of course. You get the progress towards the team affinity depending on which division you do. And that's the main reason people are playing it but also conquest maps are great because they're a great playground to earn pxp for all of these missions and you can like triple quadruple dip on some of the stuff you're grinding for right now playing through conquest is going to earn you season xp towards the main xp reward path as well you get free packs uh knocking out the goals that are in each of these maps and of course with all conquest maps there's always going to be those hidden packs as well so these are things you definitely want to go after first if you're grinding and trying to get all of this free content and there will be more to come with the all-star game upcoming and there's also showdown in there as well i'll just quickly show it to you just like conquest east central and west are going to get their own showdowns that you complete and they can be optional right you don't have to do them but these are things you can do to earn more progress towards the team affinity content and all of those free rewards now we have a bunch of new online stuff as well a brand new event that coincides with the all-star game a lot of wins to get the good rewards, but I think it's not bad. So this one is going to end July 21st. So two weeks, you can use set two and three cards, and then All-Star Game and Home Run Derby uh, and, and whatever else is on here. Team of... No, not Team Affinity. I don't know what MA and TN is for, so you'll have to excuse me there. My apologies. Live Series cards will work. Um, T-Mobile Park only, so that's pretty cool. All-Star Game, three innings difficulty there. And if you look at the rewards, so at, at five wins, you're going to get a 95 overall Will Smith getting jiggy with it there. So we'll show you that card. Not very good at all, but it's a set three card at the end of the day. You have your rewind pack here. It's going to feature some older cards from uh, set two and season two, but there's 
still usable and can go into older sets. And then you get a Jim Edmonds at uh, 20 wins. So this one, I got to say, is fairly disappointing because he had a 99 overall card in set one in season one that you can't use anymore unless you make him your wild card. And they give him a new card and it's an online events reward card, but it's only a 97. So I kind of don't like this. They could have made this one a 99 as well, but there is the card. And if you're crazy enough, and I know some of you will do this, uh, if you get 40 wins, you get a rewind pack that features the 12 win reward players uh, from prior events, JD Martinez, Ian Happ, and Kerry Wood. So there is the online event. And then there's also a brand new rank seasons, which is going to be a little bit easier to earn. There's less innings required to knock out the free rewards, assuming you can't make it to the highest tier and the 99s that you can earn from rank seasons are actually really really good so if you can get your rating up to 900 and unlock the world series pack here are the three 99s that you get to choose from we got sean murphy right-handed catcher diamond hitting diamond defense we have satchel page which is going to be a pitcher here again servers a bit slow messing with the timing of my videos uh, but there is that card and then the final option is going to be one soto which i think a lot of people are probably going to go with this one though all the cards look pretty good so uh that's what you get if you get to level 900 but of course if you're not very skilled at the game like myself here you can grind out innings and other missions here if you go to the rank four tasks down at the bottom you got pxp missions co-op missions solo stat missions and they basically said the uh inning requirement is like 50 innings less compared to the prior rank season so that's definitely a w and if you scroll all the way over to the right here i shouldn't say all the way but to 100 program stars there is the pack that you can earn just by grinding through the game so there is your new rank season rewards finally we've made our way to the shop and the new packs that are in stores and we kind of teased earlier about the chase five pack so we got new diamond duos here which features a 99 overall kyle Tuckle, tucker and a camello duval probably messed up his name my bad if so uh, but we also have regular packs here and there is the uh featured ellie de la cruz so this is the set five chase card and the card art is magnificent the uh attributes pretty good as well love that he has 125 clutch i had his card for set one in season one that was really good that future star card i actually still have it now it's probably worthless since i didn't sell it um but looks like a great card don't know what the pricing is going to be switch hitter very exciting player he's fast he can hit he can play defense i love the art there this is going to be a great card and uh that's going to be found in chase packs and I think that's it. We really covered a lot in this video. There's a lot to do. The one thing that, I mean, this system has pros and cons. I hate that it feels like there's nothing to grind for because everything like is 99 overall and anything below that usually feels just useless. But I also love that it almost feels like we got a brand new game today. Like there's so much to go after and so much to do now. So it's kind of like a gift and a curse, a give and a take here. So I, I think we covered everything. The last thing I just want to talk about is the upcoming schedule all the things on 7-7 are what we talked about today. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. 7-10, uh, All-Star Week. We got the Home Run Derby. Players will get cards uh, based off of the results in the Home Run Derby. Same with the All-Star Game. And then we're going to have an All-Star Program on Wednesday, which is probably going to feature you know, one of the current All-Stars or something really cool. So this is usually the best time of Diamond Dynasty, in my opinion. And it looks like there's some pretty good stuff there and a lot to go after. I think I'm going to get back on the game and start playing. So hopefully no money spent series video start to come back thank you guys for tuning in my name is popular stranger i'm out peace